This is White Swan's 1873 Springfield carbine. One of the area's small town museums is the Custer Battlefield Museum. This is the exact location where the Battle of the Little Bighorn began in 1876. In tiny Gary Owen, Montana, named after the 7th Cavalry's regimental marching tune. Before you even step inside, you'll see the tomb of an unknown soldier containing the remains of a trooper found during a road construction project in early 1926. That June, battle survivors shook hands and actually buried a hatchet as they dedicated the tomb during ceremonies marking the 50th anniversary of the battle. Lieutenant Godfrey and one bull, Sitting Bull's nephew, came back and buried a hatchet inside of this trap door along with 19 other artifacts, including a jeweled 7th Cavalry crest and the original tomahawk. And that's where the term burying the hatchet originated. Inside the museum, you'll see a pistol owned by Captain Tom Custer. You'll see the initials TWC, Thomas Ward Custer. Who died fighting alongside his famous brother, who may have owned this gun. A British bulldog George Custer was known to carry, acquired from an elderly Cheyenne woman in the 1980s. It was only six and a half inches under the earth. This pistol was found in the dirt when the museum's parking lot was built in the 1990s, still fully loaded. With actually one round in the chamber. There's also a pair of gloves Courtlander believes were taken off Custer's body on the battlefield. Donated by a member of the Sioux tribe. There are beautiful Native American artifacts, a Grovant War shirt. Pre-1876. The headdress of Cheyenne Chief Little Wolf. And you can see his war paint that has rubbed off on the back of the headdress. And a war club and pipe bag belonging to Sitting Bull. Pretty rare to have something like this. I would say this is pretty amazing. Plus, Sitting Bull's contract to appear in Buffalo Bill Cody's Wild West show. Sitting Bull is to have his sole right to sell his photographs and autographs. Sitting Bull and Custer were among the many notables of the day captured on film by frontier photographer David F. Berry. This is rain in the face. A collection of Berry's images and the many other artifacts you'll see here provide a window into a bygone world that remains endlessly fascinating.